Yes, yes, yes. Shake it up. Yes, yes. Episode two. What? What? Come on, Tasha. What? You shaking what? it up? Look at you being festive. Hey, bro, hey, I'm going to match you. I'm going to match your energy. Look. <laughs> Episode two, Hot Cocoa Critics, OMG, my girl Tasha from ATL. ATL Tasha, I feel like this is your nickname. This is your new nickname, ATL Tasha. ATL Tasha from the ATL, who shakes it well. She shakes it. She shakes it well. What? What? Honey, I'm ready. She ready. The Bob is bobbing. The bob is bobbing. The lipstick is popping thanks to my adult help. <laughs> Look, I know. I know. I know. Yes. Look. Thanks to my adult help. It's I've come of age. Look, I've season. come of age. Tis the season for us tis to have a season. whole lip in these streets. Yes. Yes. The only place where I think, like, and I had this situation with a colleague of mine years ago. They said that they went on a job interview and they had a red lip and there was lipstick on their teeth and they didn't notice it until they got to the car. And I gave that colleague a strong talking to. I said, look, because I'm a lipstick fanatic, thanks to Mac, I, I collect all the lipstick. I love the lip bar the best. TLB black owned the okay. lip bar. Now this actually, now this is the only way you could wear a red lip like to a business meeting or anywhere like importante is because yeah. it's like a it's like a wet mat and it dries dry. So it goes on like a lip gloss but it dries and when it dries it does not transfer. She does not move. Now, don't do anything. I'm breaking the cardinal rule because when you do this, you should pretty much not talk. Like, oh. and you gotta like, kind of like mascara. You wipe off the sides or whatever, and get all the excess off, and then do it. If you just and slap, it is a lot of. This is a lot of pigment. This stuff goes a long okay. way, but it dries matte. And then you are set. And I will even say this, and I said this last season, I'll say it again. You can get away with no lip liner with this. Really? I See, I don't know how I, you know, I ain't grown like that. Like I'm grown, but I ain't grown grown. So, you know, I don't know how to line my lips and stuff. I'm a kid when it comes to that. I'm I can line my kid. lips without a mirror. I used to line my lips yeah. and put on mascara on the school bus and I didn't have a mirror or it was bouncing around and I learned to feel the actual line of my lips. And so I've done it in public or like at meetings and people are like, why are you like after lunch or something? And they're like, why are you applying lipstick without a mirror? Like, how did you do that? I'm like, what is it all over my face? They're like, no, that's the shocking part. I'm like, party trick. <laughs> You're welcome. Party favor. <laughs> And what the kids say, you're welcome. I'm like, y'all can't finish. Y'all too tired. <laughs> y'all too tired. I'm like an auntie. Look at that face. Y'all too tired. Finish the word. Look. Hey. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can't do that. I wouldn't be able to do that. I don't even. I put this on today. I don't have no. Liner. That's a beautiful color. Where's your Where's your lipstick from? Tell me where your lipstick came from. Don't give me the line, child. I'll be lying to you. I, you know what? This may be the aunt. Look, this is the Christmas auntie mistletoe corner. What are we? What is this? Pine? What, look, the, the next the time that we thing? do the next time that we do a video, I will have the exact name. But what I will tell you is I patronized a friend of mine's daughter oh. who has a business and it is also black owned. But her daughter sells a bunch of makeups and lipsticks. And so I patronized her. Um, she was having a sale one, I think last year, and I got it. And so, yeah. Ooh, is I it but I will sense? get you the name. Is it Lip Sense? No, I want to say it begins with an E. It's like Infinity or something like that. I hate to say it because my purse is Don't literally go all the way across the room. Here's so, what we will do. Yeah. If you move, if you move a little to your right. Mm-hmm. Okay, we will have room to add it. 
Okay. A little space. Or it can be in this space too, on where you are. You're good where you are. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'll get you the name. But and we'll, she and does. we'll put she it. We'll it. put it up. We will put it up. Yeah. But she, she is good. It's black on too as well. And I do. I like I love the color. She helped and me. And if she sells it, color. we can say contact person. at this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like that. it. I feel like I like the fact that I feel grown right now. So you She's look super good. grown. <laughs> Oh uh, yes, I, like, mug. I, I, like I don't it. know. I feel like I'm huh? cheating. I feel like I'm cheating right now. Why are you cheating? Hey, how you feel like you cheating? Hey, Santa Claus. I'm putting my lips around another black man that's not Richard. Uh, <laughs> Technically, it's a straw. It's a straw. It's not the same thing. But I do feel naughty. And get not this. Nice. And get this, Richard brought you the drink, so he didn't mind sharing. He did. Oh, so, so what, that's what that is. Look. So he's into it. He's into. So he's it. into it. He into the sharing. <laughs> Look, our husbands ain't trying to hear our shenanigans. They ain't and, uh, wait. Let me ask you this: as we speak about it, have you found his Christmas gift yet? Like, have you figured out what your? So, quick story. Wait, I mean, do you need my to husband. <laughs> Look, my husband grew up. I guess what would be considered in like a seven day of Venice type of household. Okay. So he doesn't really get fully into the Merry Christmas, Happy Thanksgiving. He will say Happy Holidays and he will participate with the family because it is about family for us. But the Merry Christmas, ho 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 Santa, he didn't get that. He 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 didn't have that as a child. <laughs> Got it. So we will do our actual gifts. Me and him will exchange gifts on New Year's Day. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. And look, we'll exchange gifts on New Year's Day. But now for Max, he allows me to do because he wants him to be a normal kid. <laughs> and come on, there's nothing cuter than a baby on Christmas Eve. Mm -hmm. Christmas Day. And now he's at the point. This year is the year mm -hmm. that I'm going to wrap every single gift because I just want to see him. It's gonna be so cute. Look, thank you. We are here for you, my kids. <laughs> okay, so speaking of like girlfriends being there for one another, <laughs> segue. Okay, um, <laughs> look, we watched, yes. let's get into it now. Because look, we had Kitty Corner last time. Let now we go get into the adult of it all. A good segue. I love that mug so much. Okay, this is a good segue. For two movies, okay. So before we get into the movie that we were going to cover tonight, um, let's go back. Last episode, we gave an honorable mention to Best Christmas Ever. Now, mm -hmm. that is also a movie about girlfriends kind of being there for each other, even though it populates in the last 30 seconds of the movie. Theirs was a little freaky, though, because they had a man in the middle, honey. They shared a man at some point. You were going to tell because we were trying to figure out where we had seen one of the actors. Like we we named him, but we didn't feel right. And then we were like, we know we just need to get this off our chest. So yes, go, go to the bathroom if you don't care. Um, but be back in three minutes. Um, yeah, where where did we originally meet that one actor, the one who played uh, Brandy's husband? Did we ever get his like government name? It's Matt. Sedino, I believe is his last name, mm -hmm. Matt Sedino. But yeah, he also, what you guys may know him currently is because he's on Ruthless with Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. And he is the guy who is the cult leader of the Rognishis or something. Of the Rognishis, yeah, or don't give me the line, child, on the name. I called him but something yes. else last time, and I think that's like an actual like traveler. <laughs> Those were like Irish travelers, and I that's look, I don't know. Rock Nation. <laughs> <laughs> what else? Right. Bet. Bet. Let's go with it. He's from look, Rock Nation. He's from Rock Nation. Rock Nation and AR. He is in Tyler Perry show. Go. Go roof. Rock Nation. He is the head of the coat, honey. That's what he is. Okay. But however. <laughs> He originated 
what pe- most people may not know is he actually originated from soap operas, just like a lot of people got their start, and he was on um, Days of Our Lives. Okay. So, very fine looking man. We don't know what he looks like from day to day because, you know, Tyler Perry dressed him up in whatever he wants him to be that particular dress day. Dress him up, dress him down. Dress him up, dress him down. Don't dress him at all. Not at all. It's Tyler Perry. What they do. Um... <laughs> But yes, but I love now. Look, I love Tyler Perry. Don't take it. He the give wrong us way, something honey. to watch, child. Look, he, look. If I was in that man's mind, I wish I could, so I could collect every I single want a dollar to his mind. He is, look, every single dollar and how he the man works, baby. And you know we love a man that work, baby. I don't got no problem with it. Love you, Tyler. Call me. Exactly. Um, <laughs> we could both be in your shows. Let us work. Look, at- let me. Let me. Let me know what you give want us me to the do. Fatima track. Okay, we start over here, and then oh, look, we have our own show. I want to keep oh. high critics going all year round. <laughs> I have these little weird gaps because life be life, and and if y'all just say, "Hey, Char, we want to do this," I'll be like, "Cool, I'll be there." It's gonna be a Zoom call because that's easy. It's convenient for everybody, and I'm slide on a headband and a lipstick and possibly a lash because these could or could not be my lashes, and then we'll do the thing. I'm at the stage okay. in my age where I need like a facial feature. I have to add a facial feature. Well, look, I just sent you this young man. He was on P Valley too. His name is Thomas Jones. He was another NFL player. I just texted him to you. Honey, he is on this show called The Johnsons, which is a group of brothers. Fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah, I've seen him. Yes. You know, here's the thing. So. When Amen. I was a kid, I would eat Lunchables. And I realized, like, as I got older, they had, like, a lot of sodium, and I would get bloated, and I don't eat Lunchables anymore now. I only eat... <laughs> I only eat, like, you know, Whole Foods, like, farm to table. It's just easier. Okay. <laughs> when I would order a hamburger, I used to get, like, double patties. You know what I mean? No, it's just like vampire style, like one patty, no bun. Just... No bun, no nothing. None of the extra. Or like, yeah, more slender. I mean, I've done beefy for like a really long time. Like a really long time. Um, I don't do that anymore. Okay. But look. What you just sent to my phone was like a double a double beef patty from Five Guys. That w- and look, I, I got to get a brother the props. He With extra nice pickles. Yes. And onions. And, he, no, he is a special. Onion. He is a hot. He is a holiday special. Let me we tell you what he is. the onions. I feel like uh-uh, this is what it is. He is that. He's the. He's the McRib. So you know the McRib is back right now at me. Mc- <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he's the McRib. <laughs> he is back at McDonald's along with oh. the mama sauce, baby. I just want to say, in case anybody thought this was Chris Kringle's kitty corner, we <laughs> left that corner. We are now on the stroll. <laughs> we are now on the floor. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I'm not. No. You go. Girl, keep go- look, I'm look, look, put it in the comments. No, 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 no. I love what Tasha's doing. Here's the thing. Put in the comments. And y'all like, look. Y'all are cute with this Christmas shit. Let me know when y'all want to talk about P Valley. When you want to talk about all the Queens men. When you want to talk about, please don't ask me the to watch Johnsons. Queen sugar. When you want to talk about behind eating, on Queen it, Sugar, exactly. I'm not doing the it. Sisters. Queen sisters. Sugar, Queen Sugar ain't on no more. You know it. It, it ended. Thank you. Last season. Last That's year. Good. I don't know what a Ralph Angel is. I do. He's a he's yeah, Ralph a Angel is dude. fine. Girl strip is who he is. But what that, now that's the one you want to talk about that particular character. But Ralph Angel is fine. Don't knock Ralph. Well, he Angel is now. fine. Look, 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 my, look, look. Tasha, I did not bring you on this show for you to bring up all my past. <laughs> okay, you're here to talk look, about no, Yuletide about Joy Ralph Angel, not Black Boy Joy. We're here to talk about Yuletide Joy. <laughs> Ain't that part? All of it go in the hand. Don't you? I'm sorry. Well, okay. first, no, well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. going to go hand in hand. 
how is it that I'm, how is it that you can literally, I feel like we've discovered that you can make anything that's Christmas themed sensual. <laughs> you really can. You really can. Yeah, you can. You the can. Yule log. The Yule log. <laughs> Hey yep. Santa. Hey Santa. <laughs> okay. I'm this good. black Santa this... was worth me standing in two hours of at home goods <laughs> line for. I just want to say two hours. Not really. Well, Richard stood oh. up. Who are we kidding? And then I was just like <laughs> run to the cart and drop Santa's in the cart <laughs> and look at the Karens when they're like, You're cutting. That's my husband. Don't say shit. Yeah, you wish you had brought. You wish you brought David to the damn home good <laughs> to hold the oh, line. Yeah, you wish you thought of this. Put David in the line with an empty basket, and then like supermarket sweeps and just bring everything. Things. <laughs> I got every black Santa, whether he was cute or not. Put him in the. I was like, look, we may not, because I'm determined to go somewhere else during the holidays. The tree may not make it up. It's just gonna be black Santas everywhere, a wreath and a pillow. <laughs> On the couch. On the couch. Like, you can't say we didn't celebrate. Because we have three trees. Now we have two, actually, because I gave his mom one of my trees. Um, but yes. Okay. Okay. Let's get to it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have to tell him as I'm talking about it. Go to Southwest. They have the last day of their cyber sale. Oh, I need to do that. Yeah, it's, it ends tonight. So we will end this before the sale ends. And I need to get a couple. Of 30% tickets. off of flights, by the way. Oh, look, I need to get that because I got to go to, uh, yeah, I got yeah, exactly. to take a flight <laughs> to a fun city. Apple bottom, make him want to bite. Actually, it's the same city that girl trip was in. So that's why I got to go get a ticket. Take your rosary with you, some water, some holy water. That place is haunted. Is all get out. I love me some. Animal. Look, yes, honey. I Every time I go, time. a ghost ends up like visiting me. I'm like, what you want? Dude? I don't want that. No. Well, no that's what I it. get. <laughs> Apparently, like I'm a pure what, of heart. Look, what hotel did you stay in? I don't At the Crown that. Plaza on the 13th floor. That's what happens when you let your husband wear the pants. Yeah, see, that's why I'm a Marriott girl. I don't, I don't, I don't have. We were Marriott people then. He just did look. We were <laughs> early. We were early in our marriage, and I was like going through stuff, trying to prove that I wasn't bossy. Now I'm bossy, and it's for our own good. But also, he, is nice. he's now got Marriott points like you got. Like I think he's titanium now or something crazy. Yes, that's the world we want to live in. Okay, so fly Christmas. <laughs> You know, I have auto points for when I travel. So Look, I know, I'm sorry. You are no, no, no. Yeah. You know what? That ought to be a requirement though. Like every family needs one person who travels and gets all the points. Cause it's a racket. Travel is such a racket between getting there and the lodging. It's just a racket. So it you is. need one person in the family that's never here so we can use all their points and get all the amenities and have a good room and like Get good flights, get good um rental car status too. Don't sleep on the rental car status because Ubering everywhere is like throwing your money into a freaking trash it is. setting a garbage it can. Yes. Like now the first I'll tell you this. We were in Charleston. We didn't have a car. And I was like, we cannot keep doing this. Because we did no. that in Philly. We Ubered a bunch in Philly and I was like, we can't do this again. Cause you'll come out better. And then now most corp corporations have you know, give you the discount. Oh, we've so heard. you might want to check that. Yeah, we've heard about it. But, Me and Tasha um, are still trying to get those jobs where you get like discounts, corporate discounts. We're not there yet. Even with all of our degrees, we haven't managed to um look. But now I will tell you that the um Right, Tasha. My retirement plan. Do you <laughs> so, have one? It must be written on a paper napkin. I do. Right, Tasha. I do. I do. I do. Um, Can we please get to so fly Christmas. Oh, Can we yes, save we the are, financial but I'm advice this. for another for another episode? Plan, I'll have us on the flights because I'm gonna go work for Delta when I retire. <laughs> That's my plan. Because I look, I gotta go travel. I feel like I'm gonna, keep I'm gonna go work as a flight attendant. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that comment to myself. <laughs> okay, so fly Christmas, go. 
Go. First of all, here's the only thing I'm going to say about Delta Airlines, and I'm going to let it go, especially at Hartsfield Jackson Airport. They hey, look, that's love my, not to show that's up to my work. Purpose. First of all, they love to show up not, not to show up to work. They have the slowest terminal. You got Ray Ray and them talking about, girl, where you get them shoes from? Girl, where you get that scarf from? Girl, 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 girl. Ain't nobody like going through luggage and people are missing flights at the right. Like, oh, she should have planned better. Oh, she should have showed up earlier, girl. But y'all, they were like only two little TSA terminals open when we walked up Hartsfield Jackson. And then Delta got a whole thing. And what are you that's what I'm about? trying to tell you. And then you get through the gauntlet of, I almost said, you almost get through the gauntlet of like Tyler Perry spinoffs. And then when you get through them, okay, they cancel your flight. I, Delta is so good to cancel a flight and be like, does anybody want to sign in? Anybody want to sign in? Anybody want to stay in a Radisson Inn? No, I want to get the every, fuck home. All the years that I have had in travel. I want to go to my meeting I promise you. Time. I have not had those issues. And you know I live it's right here. It's because they know you're from Atlanta. They look at your little home. ID and they say, oh, she from her. That's how they talk in Dallas, by the way. She's her. from her. I thought they were uh-huh. St. Louis. <laughs> Go ahead. I love the way you do this right there, right there. Hey, hey, hey. hey, hey we are so hey. off track, Tasha. Tasha, we are off track. What we just... <laughs> Now, you know that's my hometown, right? <laughs> and Nelly. Yeah. Shout out. Is he under the jail, girl? Is he under the jail or is he I out? don't know what chain you went, but I know Nelly's still kicking, baby. <laughs> we can I have a funny take, story about that. We can take the last under. movie we saw Nelly in. <laughs> yeah. Him and Ashanti back together. <sighs> So he we might have, he might, look, he might, he might appear in the Christmas. Now I'll say this, Ashanti was in the Christmas movie. She like, was, and we own. critiqued it. We critiqued yeah. it. You are yeah. a busy lady, but if you get a chance, if you have a slow, I don't know, day, because they're long episodes <laughs> like these are, go back and like binge everybody, not just Tasha, everybody. Binge watch season one of Hot Cocoa Critics. We do cover that movie. We covered... Actually, last season, and we can do it this season, too, if I can keep it together. It's all on me. It's not on Tasha, even though this is how we <laughs> actually correspond. This is our actual friendship, live and in living color. But <laughs> last season, uh, we would each take a movie and break it down. After doing all of this off-the-rails talk, we would then take a movie and break it down. And that was our thing. So technically, we got through about eight or nine movies, maybe even 10, because we did two movies an episode. But because you could last year, and Tasha brought this up last episode, she said it felt like, I don't know if you remember this, but you said it felt like there were a lot of movies that came out last year. I came up with this idea, like, you know what? I think I'll critique like Black Christmas movies. And millions came out at once like the universe heard me and I was like no 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 and so I had to split it up because they were just like coming I really think 2022 unless 2023 shows me something different was the year of the black Christmas movie like a thon and Hallmark did one with a terrible I had a terrible Hallmark one I talked about what a Kwanzaa cookie Ew, why? How is Kwanzaa Cookie gonna that. save an entire town? It was so bad. Um, and then, but yeah. I will say this: Hallmark has done a better job of diversifying across the board. Yes, they have. At first, it wasn't always like that, but Hallmark yes, has because with their mahogany stuff and then some of the other stuff, they, they have, have done. Like the not only just the mahogany, level, but across the board. Design. Period. They have diversified Latinos, even become the Hispanic, LG, Hispanic yeah. LGBTQ plus Asian LGBTQ Asian plus I A every yes everything they have definitely come a long way so Actually, I have to give I them think credit. Does does Hallmark Tasha does Hallmark get credit for the first is it Lifetime for the first LGBTQ plus I A Christmas movie is that Hallmark? I don't know if this how is between Hallmark and Lifetime because both of them have done it. Yes, and then there was one on Netflix. So I don't know which one was first. Funny. 
No, it was on Netflix, but the Netflix one the first. It was either Lifetime. No, no, no. Or yeah, Hallmark. it was Lifetime because it was a big deal. And I watched it. I was like, okay. Um, all right. So, last- but I'll tell you this: I don't know if how Margo do the same as what they did last year. Last year they had a lot of black ones. They had and diversity so ones. Many girl. This I year, over what I've seen I coming out so like far, I, I don't see anything. I honestly felt like yeah. I had worked during Christmas. Because yeah. it was just like an onslaught, but it was, I'm glad you said that because it was really important to cover these movies because what they did was they took a lot of our 90s icons and then put them in these movies. And before we get into So Fly Christmas, in 30 seconds, I'm going to tell you what I think this is attributed to before okay. my psycho kicks in. <laughs> I think that the college admission scandal has opened the door for the 90s. Like you're talking about your Tatiana Ali's, you're talking about your uh, Keisha Knight Pulliams. There was one movie where Keisha Knight Pulliam was in it with Tempest Bledsoe and her husband. That's Jingle Bell. Okay. The Mm -hmm. Jingle Bell is what started all of this. So me and my bestie line sister, who was my co-host last year, Kiki, We geeked out over the Jingle Bell. And then we looked forward to Merry Little Christmas. And we critiqued these movies in phone calls with each other. I'm Kelly Rowland. Yes. You were Kelly Rowland and that handsome. I love Kelly Rowland. Who on my. I don't know what the guy's name is, but he is amazing. I like like that whole series. Yeah. I follow him on Instagram and I put him in my stories tonight on my IG page, uh, Pop of Color, what are you? Comedy. Uh, and said, yes, it is that time again, because he was like, it's that time of year again. Anyway, <laughs> um, but it doesn't matter. You'll you'll go, you'll follow me and then you'll see him. But the bigger point is that, you know, I feel like Aunt Becky, whatever her real name is, who got indicted with that with that college admission scandal situation, it killed her deals with Lifetime, which allowed mm. a space. Her and Candace Cameron Bure, she just was like super duper conservative to a level where she was making comments that was um, in the press that was alienating fans or the general yeah. public or general like lifetime viewers. So I personally believe I have no like written proof of this. So allegedly that. <laughs> That they because alleged, we have those we don't gaps, get sued. right, girl? What? Like who? Who cares? Like, I think we have five viewers. Hello, we got to be careful though, Jesus. <laughs> right. So allegedly, what I think happened is it opened up the door for more inclusivity in these stories. That, I, that could be. You know what? I never thought about because you said Uncle Auntie Becky, and yeah, she was the auntie on. Wasn't she cool like house. the Lifetime? She was. She was, queen? A, she was the. Well, she was the Lifetime, Lifetime movie queen, queen. prior to because that's when she after she at the Full House, she has been on Lifetime. Like yeah, her between now I say this, you know, Vivica got a deal a good standing Wait, deal with. Don't Lifetime. you do it? Don't you do it to me? Don't you? Don't you do it to me. I have a whole. Don't you do this to me. Don't you scoop my shit. I have a whole section of my saved movies dedicated to Vivica's The Wrong Series. The Wrong Cheerleader Coach. The Wrong Valentine. Is that where you were going? And it, it is, and she has a she has, and then you know she got the one that she did with Candy Barris too as well. I can't remember what the name of that family was, but that was another one. But they, uh, Lifetime, oh signed, yes, signed a major deal with Vivica Fox, and so she has. I don't, I forgot how many movies, but they have a different series. To your point, the wrong, and then they have that one that's with the family. Vivica is the yes uh, that, stepmother, yes. Um, Stepmother. and then it's the different women. Candy Barris uh is narrating on that one, and then she has some other stuff. But she has a whole complete nice. You know, Tasha, you and I will contract. talk. You know what? You and I will talk because if that look, 
Look, honey, I ain't mad. Right. Look, that's why Auntie Vivica, baby, hats off she to her. Because this is one thing I will say this. Sister, keep a check. Keep a check. S Vivica has never gotten big headed about anything. She, she is that. She, 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 look, she me. She like, I whatever come, I just thank God I got it and send it my way. And that's I take it. She don't complain about nothing. You don't hear her. She could guess what? I get her bills paid. I guarantee you who wasn't suffering during the uh the yeah, actress me, and the what call it? Right Not strike. just paid the strike. I she guarantee does, you Vivica was shield commercials. Like what? Everything, honey. She had coming. Yes. And no, she, I will, and she I will takes say it this. and she's humble about it. I will say this. Vivica and Tasha actually have the same energy. I Tasha is we are gonna get to this movie, by the way. We're gonna do a lot of it any day week. now. Any day now. <laughs> I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take out like a quick cash loan for all the editing I have to do for these episodes. But it ain't my fault. I'm sorry. It ain't. It ain't. <laughs> we got chemistry. We have chemistry. Um, I like some movies, but the I'm like the best Christmas. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> my life. Okay. So, but Vivica and Tasha have the same entrepreneurial spirit. They just kind of are like. Does it fit my brand? Is it good for me? How many hours out of my day will it take? Can I make money? Can I make money? And like, Tasha. Oh, can we do the shot? <laughs> I'm sorry. It just popped We're in all, my mind. We can do whatever you want to do. And look. I just want to do. Look, I, I, a couple of them. Know. Then we can go back. I know some of them shows are going off. Or they, what do you call it? What is the name of it? Um... Tasha, uh, Tasha, you and I go look. Write it down <laughs> when you remember it. You and I are gonna have a whole ass call about this later. I'm serious because I'm trying to think. We, it's no, like we even just, if we could do some of the old ones that one oh, that are already off the air, right. like they've had their seasons all together. Well, this one just went off. I just cannot think. Of, I can see the young man's face in my mind, Maybe but girl, I could not think. Right, it begins right with an S. Say S, show. Shameless. No, no, it was very popular. It just it was John Singleton's shout out to Kappa, John Singleton, um, deceased. But um, John I'm Singleton, aware. it just went off. It just went off. It You're like off. deceased. Deceased. <laughs> Here's the thing. But shout out. Um, we, I'm only gonna let look as I am married to one of the first and the finest. I can't look. I know we you look we got a little hate relationship with it because you know I got a you know who I got in my house. I know what you got. You know what I got in my house. It's but all he, it's love. Look, it's all smart, love to the divine nine. But we'll if he was smart that. enough to marry you, I respect that man on site. On site, it's what all that tell put, you? That, put that fucking candy cane down. This candy cane. This is my. <laughs> you know what? Trey, I can't. I can't stop it. Straight triggered. <laughs> I said, don't let my man see that. So you better put it like, like some runaway. You better put that down. Don't let my man see that. You put that down. Now, okay. this is not his cane, but his is upstairs. But yeah, this is it, neither to say. I stop. I stop. No, because if he has, if you pull out his cane, I have to pull out mine. And then all well, the cats are out the bag. I told you my son got a cane, right? You didn't pick that up. <laughs> no, I picked it up. I heard it. But that's not my child. You do what you want with your kid. Look. Look, you distracted me. What well, is the name of Look, the is... young man who was on John Singleton's show? I wanted to be done with this in 30 minutes to put you back in bed for you to be with your family. And you like, oh, okay, I'm girl, sorry. I haven't I'm talked sorry. to you in 20 I'm days. <laughs> Oh, girl, we were in magic. But see, green, look, we YouTube, ourselves. this is we how it is when we really get on the phone. We say we're going to be on the phone for 10 to 15 minutes. minutes. It, it equals out minutes. to an hour, and then it becomes two hours. And we believe ourselves. We're like, girl, I got 10 minutes. Girl, I, I got, got it. But it don't work like that. <laughs> two hours Sorry. So, y'all, this is what y'all are seeing evidence of. Girl, okay. Hold on one so second. I got to drop fly. the baby off. Okay, great, girl. I'll hold. Okay, girl. I got to pick up food. Sounds good. Okay, girl. I'll hold. Like we just end up running errands together over the phone, halfway across the country. So, so, so fly, go. I'm let's I'm talk waiting. about. You know what? Let's. You know what? You know what I want to do with this review? 
Oh, Lord. Let's Jesus. treat. No, look, I'm going to put on one more layer of lipstick. I don't need no more lipstick out. Okay. Let's treat this review like we talking about them like we know them. Okay. So let's okay. start it off with why Netta getting jilted at the altar. There's this chick named Why Netta who gets jilted at the altar by her mans and them. Right. And her best friend, Dion, spelled with a D I E O N. Like Dion Sanders. Which is weird to me. That was a really masculine name to spell, masculine way to spell Dion. But anyway, so her best friend, like, does a weird, we're not going to spoil it for you. She does like a weird thing to make it nice at the altar. Um, because her friend gets jilted. And at that point, you realize that Michael Collier, the comedian, legendary comedian, and Jack A, Jack A, Jack A, Harry, <laughs> is her mama. I'll do 227 like that. Well, she's a Jack. We were That's the- what we got to put some respect on Jack A. Jack A. I just respect. I just do a bad That's Jack a legend. <laughs> It's not, it's not that I don't respect. It's that I'm not talented in that regard. Okay. Jack A. Maybe not her tongue. Maybe <laughs> less tongue. Jack, oh, she doesn't put her tongue. She pulls it back. Jack A. She pulled her face back. Yeah. Jack a. We're go ahead. All I'm that. listening. All that. <laughs> Basically, um, that's who Tashina Arnold, who is Wynetta or Wynetta. Why Netta? You right. Why? 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 <laughs> why? Netta. Like, why, why Netta? Netta? Those why are her Netta? parents. And Tammy Roman plays Dion. Now, I will say this. They have a podcast together. They're besties. It's called the So Fly. Well, D-N-Y So Fly, which is kind of cute. It's, it's cute. cute. It's a play. And it's a. T- I and thought it was nice. I thought it was really cute, and it's like a small podcast, kind of like this, like very just like, "Hey, we're besties, and we're talking, and we have our stuff." But because Wynetta gets jilted at the altar, she's like, "Look, Dion's trying to play it off like everything's cool. It's a normal Monday, Tuesday, whenever they film their their podcast." But Wynetta is clearly bitter and, and upset. She and in so, her feelings. She in her feelings and she should be because he humiliated her. He never called. He left some punk ass. Well, this, now thing. look, this the thing though. He humiliated her in front of her family. So when yeah. I couldn't what I couldn't understand was why nobody was at the wedding, but that's neither here nor there. I, that's I a budget. I feel like and I decided because Juanetta didn't have like a personality problem. I felt like that was a budgetary problem because it was to Tasha's point I'm so glad she called this out because I don't think I would. I was just it. curious. It was it was literally Dion Wynetta, so the two besties, the pastor who's Tommy Davidson, legendary comedian, who y'all may know from uh, In Living Color, mm-hmm. Jackie and Michael Collier with other names, or Jack A, sorry, and no, the whole ass church like with 57 pews and just these seven people. It's like and these seven people. On one side of the front row, he didn't have not nobody two, show up because he didn't show one. up. Yeah, because he knew he wasn't coming. But that's neither here nor there. Yeah. He didn't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. Want it. He didn't come to the altar at all. Did you see my little T Pain remix? I did. I did. I did. He anyway, <laughs> so basically, <laughs> they ended the wedding. They ended the wedding quickly. Uh huh. I said they came up with. We're trying not to spoil it too much for y'all, so we're like leaving you these teasers, which honestly we could fucking tell you and save your time, but we won't because the movie is actually a good movie. Um, It is, and it's nice. And I think Tasha, without even us discussing it at all, we haven't discussed this at all. But I appreciated seeing Tammy the basketball wives Roman, Tammy the original season of seconds. Was it ep- real world of the real world? Yank the blanket off Roman in a softer role. Like she really did do her best to be like a softer character, and I appreciated that. With but you know what? I think that's very. I think that's actually very probably similar to how she is in real life. Not trying to be I funny. I would agree because with because with the guy. That she's with, um, mm-hmm. her new dude. Reggie. He Reggie, yeah, that's his name. He's nice looking too. Reggie, um, she different with Reggie, honey. 
And but but you know what too? I think the thing is is some of that hardening hardening. Of course, she had to be harder with the stuff she was going through with her ex and other stuff in oh, life. God, I? So yeah. I think now Reggie makes her feel because I know even when we've saw Reggie on other shows and stuff with her, mm-hmm. he's just like be easy, Tammy. You know, and it, I, you can see it changes her. So she's different with him, mm-hmm. and I just think she feel comfortable. So I think it allows it. But that and, this role was very similar, I think, to probably her real what she is now in her life. The prosecco has kicked in. So my manners are out the door, so I'm sorry if I interrupted you. But the, like what you just called out, I want to take a moment and say it is what we mean as strong women when we say, "I can submit to the right man, but you got to be the right, right person." Key terms. You got to like make me really feel a certain kind of a way. And then I'm happy to hand you the keys. I'm happy to hand you the reins. Do whatever you say, need. You have to talk whatever to you like. about that because it's it's on him. It's not on me. We happy to be dainty and a damsel in distress when we need to be. But it takes exactly the right kind of dude. And... I, I know like reality TV is not real, real, but I have fallen for the okie doke many times and the way that I see Reggie treat her. And I know people probably like you do as well, who are, you're like one degree separated from someone like Tammy Roman. Mm-hmm. That's all she really needed was somebody that was 10 toes down for her. And in this movie, it's the same. This guy mm. sees her, Clarence, who is also, oh shoot, I wrote it down in my fine keyword. <laughs> Cause look, you and I, you and I really could even unpack the devil dolls, the uh hit the floor. Baby, hit the floor. And he was even oh, outstanding God. guy in that too, as well. Remember, he was still an outstanding guy in that show too. He, as does, well. he does but have he's typecasting like good guy. That's rare. He is a good guy, cast, fine, good guy. Fine as wine, honey. Yes, Lord. Girl, and he is really cute. And he is gra- he is gracefully aging. Um, what's it called? Yes, he is, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He, you look, you're not gonna get me in trouble with uh boo baby boo baby husband. Not boo baby dad. Ain't nothing, uh, ain't no harm in looking. Dion, oh, so no, Clarence. So Clarence, Clarence. Is by Robert Christopher Riley from Hit the Floor, and um, which is a dynamic show. By the way, y'all, if you have not watched Hit the Floor, you need to go back and watch season it. one. Like, y'all need to, if you've seen Dear White People, then you'll appreciate the villain in Hit the Floor because she's in it and she plays a villain. But she looks like the girl from 3LW. I'm getting really tired of you, Brooke. Promises, promises. Get you really get you. Promises, promises. Anyway. You are okay. you. <laughs> Will or you won't, won't or <laughs> can or you don't, don't, no more. <laughs> no more, baby. You're taking I'm it way bad. back, honey. Way, way, way back. Can or you can't, can't, can't be a man, can't, be a man, 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 man. We could have started an R&B group, Latasha. Anyway, Girl. I'm done dreaming with you on this podcast. Okay, so his name is Robert. Robert! Okay, and then he plays a man named Clarence who sees Tammy Roman's character, D, Dion. We're going to refer to her as D for convenience and time. Anyways, he sees her and he's like, yes. And he like hot pursues her. Like, mm-hmm. tunnel vision. Immediately. Not creepy, but very like, okay, I know what I want. And I appreciate Tammy's wigs. I appreciate her makeup. Say what... Okay, I'm going to say this. Tashina Arnold is an actually... She's... Fuck Martin, okay? She's actually a beautiful woman. I understand for the purposes of the show, he had the cap on her and all that. But in real life, she's actually a beautiful woman. I did not appreciate... Their attempt to do like a silk press wig on her, 
That's what they did because it was a big. Isn't that what that was? It's like a very. I'm just gonna tell you the truth. I got a girlfriend from the the NO. She's my ace boon. She calls that little hairstyle like a Brenda. You over here looking like a Brenda. They tried to make her seem like an old matron, and it was because she got left at the altar. That's what that was about. Because okay, I'm not. So I wasn't. I wasn't alone in that. You saw that too, then. Honey, Tanisha, uh, Tanisha Orr looks amazing in a short haircut, bad fears. They aged her so much with their they hairstyle. Did. I was like, y'all know y'all wrong because y'all trying to make it seem like because she got left at the altar, she is like an old oh, maid, no, like boring, a spinster. old maid spinster. That's what they was going for. Because did you I was clock like, it though, you Tasha? Did you clock it when they were? The hairstyle she had at the altar. Who you were in there when they get married? Okay, and did you clock that when they were re- when they were filming a podcast episode, her bob was like a bit more powerful. It was more powerful. It was longer. Yeah. yeah. But then any other time she was in that bowl shit. I it was just horrible. Horrible with an A. Okay. I don't know if they were trying to do that intentionally. They were. I feel they like they were trying to because I was like, what is this? The fact that her hair changed. My headband squinching my ear, sorry. Um, the fact that her hair changed told me that. Well, my thing is, is it changed towards the end. So was that way that way of them lit- saying that she relaxed? Yeah. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this and I love it so much. Because you see what I see and you would analyze it the way I do. Like, No, I'm serious. So did y'all drop she, her, her hair down and not just say, oh, now she's relaxed. Down, and like, with it, she yeah, relaxed. And and she, ain't no, uh, she ain't all puffed out. Because I'm good. like, what is going on with her hair? And why do y'all have... Because uh, even the wedding dress. The wedding dress looks like she was going to wedding dress. Up, what the that wedding dress? Gold? That's what I say. The wedding dress looked like she was gonna get stood up. Cause guess what? It wasn't no bride at the altar. Cause she wasn't no bride. Nobody looking like no bride with no jacked up hair and no, it. uh messed up dress and no altar. That's why it wasn't no groom there. Cause wasn't no bride there. Boom. Wasn't no groom there. Cause wasn't no bride there. Brr. And then the kids wrap these a things. Mess. A whole a hot a hot mess. But what yeah, no they, there because what no bride there what? That's better. That's more like what we would do if we were salt and pepper. Yes, but no, but yeah, it was I did, okay. Here's about. what I want to ask you. Here's what I want to ask you. I'm cutting you off because we're gonna wrap this up because we're tired older ladies and we need our beauty rest. That's why we look so young. <laughs> so when I say we're older, it's a joke. It's a gag because we're really twenty. <laughs> right. Right, drink, but we can't rent a car yet. Okay, what did you think about this pact? This down with love pact. I want to know what did you think about the fact that because her husband, her girlfriend got her heart broken by her soon to be would have been should have can should have been husband at the altar. That now Tammy doesn't can't like fall in love can't date tammy was down in the moment because she was supporting her girl but i want to know what you thought about this whole like oh i'm hiding you i'm hiding clarence my new my new babe my very sexy thick thigh chocolate droppy babe i'm shoving him under cabinets and in couches that felt a little weird to me it was like overdone in a way but mm-hmm. i was glad it didn't take up the entire movie but i wanted it was to- just too much you thought it was, I thought it was, I was just like, I was just like, well, no, I get why they were doing what they were doing. Yeah. But I feel like, but at the same time, I was just like, girl, it's, too, I would have been like, Clarence, too. Look, nah, uh uh-uh. uh, we ain't doing this. Yes, Clarence, I'm her boyfriend. Yes, I'm her bubble. Yeah, no, I'm not this. I can I cut you off this. for a second? Do you feel like Clarence should have like shut her down and dumped her way earlier in the film with all this behavior? Because I do. I he's would have. Fine. I would have. Yeah, he's too fine, and it, and I don't have time for mess. Like that's messy. Like how grown are you? So something changed. You were doing whatever you were doing. You met somebody. You right. like them because this is the thing. In the reality, when you go back to everything that they were saying, the one thing that she said no to was no to not no not not. I'm not gonna not have sex. She was like, hold on now. That's what Tanisha Arnold said. 
So they would go still be screwing somebody. So if you screwing somebody and you end up liking them, what you supposed to do? Correct. Because it was really like no meaningful sex. Like, right? Like no like falling in love with nobody, but you gotta get your block knocked off. Get your block knocked off. I'm but now that I tell you, let's be real. We real people and oh. If you screwing somebody and you screwing somebody over time and y'all may every now and then have a conversation, hang yeah. out, talk, you're going to possibly end up liking or having feelings for that. There person. we have it. And that's why friends Come with never work out. So how stupid is that? You know what I'm saying? So that's exactly what happened with her. She ran into him. He pursued her. She was like, I don't know. I first trying to do all that hard-ish. And then <laughs> he was like, he put... <laughs> Are you see this fine man? Yes, I do. Like any other woman who got blood flowing anywhere. Girl bye. Yeah. Pack. What pack? What? Girl bye. Mm -hmm. Nope. That don't work like that. Sorry. It doesn't. Okay. I do believe, because uh, we're going to move it forward. I do and that's believe, selfish of her, too, to expect for her to. I like, was the most bad. selfish shit. Like, honestly, I would have. I, I can't. I don't want to say what I would have, could have, should have, would have done, but in the context of this movie, Tashina ran the risk, uh, or also known as Wynetta, ran the risk of me dumping her as a friend for Evertown. For Evertown. Mm -hmm. Like, I would have just been like, you know what? I've outgrown you. Good. I want a fine ass man who pretends to be my plumber and done. I do yep. appreciate the um, reality check that the daughter, that gorgeous girl, oh my God. Her daughter, yeah, she's pretty. Was, Tammy's daughter was drop dead gorgeous. I did appreciate like the subplot of her and like the plagiarism or the like copyright infringement or whatever. But I most importantly or important, I don't know where it goes, appreciated her and then Tashina Arnold's characters, D, her parents, or Y, uh, her parents, Jackie and Michael Collier's dose of reality like look why are you over here making your friend if she's your friend why are you mad at her for falling in love why are you mad at her for having a dude don't do that yeah you or, get mad because of what because of what and her daughter's it. saying if this is your best friend you should want her to be happy why are y'all beefing like that's not fair um no. And y'all should never break up behind a dude. And so I appreciated these little doses of reality. Like, hey, this is dumb. Because mm -hmm. they basically were saying we, the public, were thinking, like, well, how is this movie still playing right now? They should have made up 55 minutes. <laughs> so with that said, I will say this. And this is important for me to say because you said it. You led last time. And I'm going to lead this time. Okay. This is me taking charge, Tasha. It's your show. <laughs> I loved the versatility of Tammy's wigs. I loved it. If there okay. were, I know. Stop. I said, okay. There were, there was a moment when I didn't realize they were using, I feel like. Okay, Tasha, I do want you to weigh in. Sorry. I'm just listening. I feel like they they were using, obviously, two wigs, the short and the long, long, long. But I feel like mm -hmm. that, 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 that bob wig, <laughs> it got I'm a little gonna... animated at moments. But I, I realized maybe they were using the same wig. There was a moment where I was like, are they using two different bobs? Because when they, they use two wigs, different wigs, you think so? How many wigs? I you actually think they Tammy use Roman? three. How many wigs? I think they use three. I think they use maybe they had a long one, and then that one they had a regular bob, and then they had a bob that, that was kind of cut, kind of funky, kind of like an asymmetrical <laughs> type of thing. That's the one I know you don't really like. She don't like it. Okay, I like Tammy Roman. We, we love her. So, did you? Did you love? Let me give it. Let me give the mic back to you. Did you love Tammy Roman's character? I did. I like both of them. Like you I said, did? I okay. think the thing me is, too. was that they just tried to make Tanisha Arnold. And I think the thing is, like when I look at Tanisha Arnold, and I'm like, this is the bad. 
Yeah. And I think Tanisha Arnold like in her fifties, like yeah, mid fifties. She's always gonna be. And it's like she can have this short haircut, this what's kind of make bad to the bone, not dressing like. Yeah. But I get it. Again, it's a point. It's a movie. They're acting, you know. And so you have to come out of that. But I think when I look at her, I'm like, Nah, that ain't that chick that I know. But right. I understand what they were trying to do, and they did, Tashina and what Arnold they were trying to, and what treasure, they were trying, right? and I think they our... think, yeah, she is, and. For what they were trying to do, they accomplished. And that's what the whole goal was. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was a leap. Because you was like, what is she at? They got her and his grandma. But that's what they wanted. She but was then, the old okay. maid who got left at the altar. But can we, okay, can we at least say this? Can we at least say this? And this is what I will acknowledge. Because I feel like it was done on purpose. The day that the jilted, uh, estranged fiance shows up to her place, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. she looked the best she had fucking looked that entire show. No, she did. That but jacket, that was intentional. That jacket, I need that jacket. That yes, that was intentional, though. You know it was. And then all of a sudden, bing, boom, bong, the doorbell rings, and it's old boy. And it's like, ooh, thank God. Because we don't all have that luxury of like running into a... But that goes back to what we said. And I really believe, even though if ever we get a chance to hear what they did on the behind the scenes for the movie... Oh, yeah. It goes back to what we said. Because what did we say? After that conversation with the beautiful daughter... Yeah. The kind of... And Tanisha, and she was just like, you supposed to be your best friend. Well, don't you want her happy? This isn't it. When did her hair go straight? True. True. You get what I'm saying? I do. So her hair, it was always, even though it's small reflection, it is, yeah. I believe all this stuff. Because you go from helmet head to straight. Come on now. Well, it was and a then, helmet head for real. Yes. And then the next time up is straight. Because that next little shot, her hair was straightened. Back down when it's big. And then the next one, we saw when the old boy comes to the door. She flies it, you know. No, that ain't coincidental. We all know that they and here's the thing, and 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 hot cocoa critic nation, please pay attention to this sort of stuff. The evolution mm-hmm. of a character's healing, awakening, love, like love journey is always reflected in the hair. Mm-hmm. The hair, the makeup, the the hair, makeup. And then costume slash style. And in that order. It's how they show a a woman's journey in a nonverbal sense in these shows. Yeah. Okay. okay so so fly Christmas. What do we give the score, my friend? So we can wrap this up. Let's oh, what sale? I have my like score it. already up here. I'm going to give it. I actually really like it. I'll give it a five. Oh, I actually really like it. They Our did a good job. Time. And like I said, even though I was mad because they dumb, they made Tisha uh, Arnold, Tanisha Arnold, look old. But that was the purpose. They had a purpose in what they were doing. So I appreciate it. It was almost like a cautionary tale that like holding grudges can age you if you're not careful. It can age you if you don't what you call it, you come up. Yeah. I okay. think it was a good I like it. Okay. I'm with it. Um you know what? Fuck it. I'm with you. I'll and be- to see Tammy in a different role too, and to play that role well. We know Tisha, and this is the thing, Tanisha. Tanisha is seasoned. Tashina. To your point, she is I elder, honey. She has done her thing. So to see Tammy come in and hold her own next to that, that says a lot. It really does. Because Tashina Arnold being like of the Martin fame, which is that show. She she on a whole other level. But she's at another level and she's been there, done that. And for Tammy to come in, somebody who went to Hollywood to be an actress, got thwarted by reality TV, and is finally stepping into her purpose with the Miss Pat show, 
with yeah. this holiday movies. And she's had some other movies and stuff. She's but she's growing, movies. but she's not Tanisha Arnold. Yeah, so no. that's says Tashina, a whole girl, lot. Tashina. Tashina. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. Okay. Well, some circles, they call it to China. But yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. No, it's cool. Girl, it's cool. Tashina. So... Yes, She's not calling me or anything, telling me correct your friend. Like, I what? know, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, no, I agree with you a thousand percent. I feel like with a tenured Hollywood comedic actress, Tammy Roman stood her own. Like she held her ground. Um, and I also will give it a five. Why not? Shit. I mean, I thought the wigs were great. If we loved them or hated them, everything was laid right. I feel like there was a good budget. Old dude was fine and greased up. Yeah, uh, I like the plot didn't have too many layers to it. You know, the parents provided uh Jack A and Michael Collier. Those are two legends in our in our culture as far as entertainment goes. And they didn't they didn't muddy up the plot. Like they added to it. They added they stuff. didn't add too much. Like some of you keep talking about yeah. is just keep trying to add stories to it. have a certain plot, stick to it and let that be it. And not like trying to movie. include 15 other different things. We didn't have like, no extra plot with them getting a divorce or maybe getting back together. Like, it was none of that randomness. They were perfectly happy. Or a dead kid. Day. Yeah, they were like, we screw every day. We're happy. Y'all need to get like us. We're like, okay, great. Good for y'all. Weird, but good for y'all. It was transient. And, like, their bigger thing was sage advice for Tashina Arnold's character, Juanetta. Wow. Mm -hmm. No, that's perfect for that thing because it was a, it's like, again, it goes to the purpose. Yeah, and I even like the fact that they had a little tip on their little podcast and they got through it. So, yeah, I, I, here's the thing that I want to say before we log off on this. What I liked most about this was there was conflict, but the conflict did not suck up the whole movie. It was like yeah. the last, it was maybe, I would say the last 20 minutes of the movie there was conflict and then we were done. I, I, that's what I prefer. I don't like it in our movies where there's beef and we got to manage this beef the whole freaking episode or a whole Try, season yeah. or movie. I don't love it. I'm just like, like, yeah, we need conflicts. We need some substance, but then let's like, let's clear it out and solve it like a damn sitcom episode. I don't want to see it permeate. I don't want, now Tashina oh, no, was man. bitter for a good point a good part of the movie, but mm -hmm. it wasn't always directed at Tammy Roman. It was like when she realized she had a man and didn't know it. And then once she was like, oh, so how long you been in her life? Oh, y'all been together a minute? Oh, you really love her? She was over it. That's yeah. what I needed. I didn't need her to be like her against them the whole movie. So I love it. Yeah, her. I agree. That's why I said it was a good balance. Great balance. And then It was a great balance. Uh, Tasha from the ATL, what say you about, this is our last point, what say you about the on-camera chemistry? What did you think? I think it was amazing. It was not, it was organic. Mm -hmm. It was just natural. Agreed. Agreed. Everybody, with everybody. Yep. All the way around. The parents, the boyfriend, everybody. EFF, the even, child. Even the deadbeat. I actually kind of felt for him a little bit when he came I did for a little bit, but it was just second. only like that. Yeah, like that. It went, it went like real quick once he kept opening his mouth. Shut up. No. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Just shut, yeah. up. shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> On that note, we will shut up. Yay! Episode yeah. two. Hi, Coco Critics. Um, yay. Thank you, Tasha, for coming back. We always appreciate you. And I always appreciate you for all the reasons. You're my dearest friend and also my biggest, up until somebody want to challenge her, Christmas movie geek, my co-geek of yes, X and Mistletoe. I appreciate you having me. Of course. Thank you for making time. I know you're a busy lady. You got a beautiful baby, baby boy at home. And I appreciate you. So... Um, with that being said, I'll probably have her on my podcast whenever that comes out. Lord help us all. Um, but we have more movies to review, so stick with us. Until then, like, comment, subscribe. Hi, Coco Critics. Fa-la-la-la-la. Fa-la-la-la. Good night. See you next time. Bye.